A great game is not just made because of what it is. It understands why it is what it is, and it is just that. And I think you can feel that in a game. Like I, when I play a game, very often I look at what the game, what I feel the game is trying to make me do. Right. Mm -hmm. In a great game, I don't ever have to ask myself that question. Like it makes sense what I should do. I do that, and it feels the way the designers intended me to feel, and that is great. The biggest thing you don't have, the two biggest things you don't have when you go into the games industry is you don't have a network, which is a problem, uh, because you're going to need a network. And you only know, you only know what you know, and you don't know what you don't know. And not knowing what you don't know is a huge, like, it's such a ridiculous sentence, but like, it's very important, like, the easiest mistakes you make are in the fields where you just didn't know you could ask about it. You know, nobody ever asks about, when do I book a slot for certification? Because nobody knows that that's the thing you have to do. And those are the things that will kill your game studio. It's when you think you know something, but you don't even know that you don't know it. Yeah, no. yeah I've played a bunch of games from here. I mean, it's an interesting region. It's interesting for various reasons, mostly because the closest major market is probably not necessarily the United States. Uh, and games culture here is, is very different in, in many ways from um, the major markets in Europe. Um, but it seems like the like globalization has gone fast enough that you know they can reach across to each other. Uh, but having that different perspective from the start is very interesting. Um, I think a lot of things here are much bigger than they are in the West. Uh, like most Western people would not expect that. But you know, I booted up. Uh, I was I was browsing YouTube yesterday and I saw a bunch of commercials for games that were like pretty on point commercials, you know, like not the type of commercial you see. Like I only see like trailers of like Warcraft and stuff like that in the West, but here it's like you know with commentary and somebody talking about the game and like with people and you know esports and stuff like that is so huge in the West now, but it's been a thing here for so long. So I I think there's a lot of like different challenges and opportunities that exist here and everything I've played from here so far seems to, to have a very strong sense of, of culture in place and that's really cool. Okay, yes, absolutely. If there's anybody in the games industry that says that they're a self-made success, they're lying. There's no such thing. Like this industry is way too big and complicated to do the um, People that have really helped me out, uh, I think Adam Saltzman, uh, creator of Cannibal, uh, was very early on, he was very open to talking and you know, like explaining things. Um, Phil Tepetoski, we basically grew through the industry together, but took very different lessons, so we learned a lot from each other. And he was not necessarily above me, like not in that mentorship role, but having a peer that is experiencing different things on a different scale was extremely, extremely useful to me. Uh, in the last few years, I've been talking a lot with Brenda Romero, uh, who is an amazing designer, but also just an industry veteran, and she's a huge inspiration. Um, and I would love to, at some point, be able to look back at a career that is as impactful and important as hers. Um, and then um, Don Daglo, who is this amazing veteran who's been around for so long. And he once, he gave me the quote that I used in my talk where he said, you gotta, you gotta make decisions, right? Like, you have to decide, not accept. And that quote was extremely important for me and we've talked about a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't think I have any mentor as in a person I sit down with frequently. Uh, because I think a large part of who I am and what defines me is that I search for new experiences and contrasts. So, I love having short conversations with people and then not seeing them for six months, mm -hmm. then asking the same question and then uh, see if I get a different answer. And that teaches me a lot about, you know, how things change. Um, but yeah, I have so many mentors in this industry. There's so many people that without whom I would not be here today. And some of them were the tiniest things, like the guy that run the incubator in the Netherlands, JP von Seventer, um, he, he was our first mentor. He helped us through the first like small steps of the last year.